Welcome to Rajya Sabha Television. You're watching Rajya Sabha News with me, Frank Pereira. Here are the headlines. Parliament adjourns, sign a die, entire budget session sees 28% productivity in the Rajya Sabha with only 6% of work done in the upper house. Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu expresses deep concern over disruption stresses on convergence of different agendas for the proper functioning of the House. Cutting across party lines, senior leaders in the Rajya Sabha express remorse for session washout, calling the smooth functioning of the House a collective responsibility. Members make many suggestions, including a two-week session extension to address pending legislative business. Rajya Sabha adjourned Sinatai on Friday as the stalemate continued even on the last day. In the entire budget session, the upper house clocked just about 28% of uh, legislative work. Rajya Sabha Chairman Venkaya Naidu expressed concern and anguish over the disruptions. The upper house could not function even on the last day of the second half of budget session. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu expressed displeasure over lack of productivity clocked in the House and adjourned the House side and I. In the first half of the budget session, Rajya Sabha carried out 96% of legislative work, while in the second half, only 6% work was done. The House could not pass the Payment of Gratuity Amendment Act 2018. On this day, to give a brief account of what has happened, what has been done and delivered by the House today, I am compelled to reflect what could not have been done during such an important session, which is the longest of the year, with about 30 working days. This is a sad commentary on the functioning of our parliamentary institutions, reiterating that perception that they are on the decline. During the budget session, only 28% legislative work was done in the Rajya Sabha. The second part of the budget session witnessed numerous disruptions and protests by various members over several issues, like the Punjab National Bank fraud, the constitution of the Kaveri Water Management Board and special status to Andhra Pradesh. With inputs from Ravindra Sharat and Panchanan Mishra, Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Well, the Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu expressed deep concern over frequent disruptions of the Rajya Sabha that led to the washout of the second half of the budget session. Adjourning the House Sinodai on Friday, Chairman Naidu said that the upper house should not become a clog in the wheel of the nation's progress. As well as the other response. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu on Friday expressed anguish at the frequent disruptions in the second half of the budget session. In his valedictory address, he said an eminently forgettable session had come to an end. I am pained to note that it turned out to be an eminently, eminently forgettable one on account of utter disregard of the mandate of this important parliamentary institution and its responsibilities and missed opportunities. Honorable members and readers are all aware that I have admitted discussion on all the issues of concern on various sections of the House. It is beyond my comprehension as to why the House could not take up any of those issues which were of larger public interest. A total of 120 hours of precious time of this House has been lost due to disruptions as against to only 45 hours of functioning. Honourable members, at the end of such a long session, what is that we can show to the people of our country as our contribution towards addressing their concerns and furthering their genuine aspirations? I am afraid nothing. As a result, we are all the losers. This includes the opposition, the ruling party, the government. I don't want to make any uh, special mention about this party or that party and all. As a parliament, all of us only are responsible for the present situation. One has to understand this. This is my humble observation of what is happening. I am pained. I am also sad. Some of you also, some of you have written to me also. Some of them have sent messages also. So friends, we, we should not look at it from that angle. You are responsible. He is responsible. This party is responsible. That party is responsible. All of us in corrective, this thing should introspect for the future and see to it that the, we sit together at the end and then create a win-win situation there than ending as ending as a now like a lose-lose situation when it could not could have been a win-win situation. It is time to wake up and look at the way forward. According to Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu, the total breakdown of communication between all sections of the upper house was the root cause of the prolonged stalemate. I am disturbed to note that the total breakdown in the communication among various sections of the house that was the root of the 
prolonged stalemate and uh, ruined this important session. This is a lesson for all of us that we must have interaction on a regular basis, discuss things among ourselves before coming to the House. This is not good for the parliamentary democracy of which our country has come to acquire a place and pride. Chairman Naidu also said the Rajya Sabha had a special responsibility in passing bills. Recalling the fears of the Constituent Assembly over the role of the Upper House, he cautioned members not to make the Rajya Sabha a clog in the wheel of the nation's progress. We are supposed to have matured about seven decades of our brave experiments with parliamentary democracy and self-governance. But the functioning of our legislature do not seem to be assuring enough. This House of Headers need to lead by example in strengthening the parliamentary democracy and sustaining the trust and confidence of the people in it. This takes me to the days of intense debate in the Constituent Assembly over the need for a justification of a second chamber. Please hear carefully. There was a discussion in the Constituent Assembly over the need and justification for a second chamber, that is the Council of States. The, op the op opinion was divided against and in favour of such a chamber before bicameralism was adopted and this House finally came into being in 1952. I am afraid that the fears expressed about the need of the House at that time are now revisiting us and even coming true. I hope it's not. During the Constituent Assembly debates on the need for Council of States, some members feared that it would prove to be a clog in the wheel of progress, involving expenses and not making much contribution. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of the country, who was among the important members of the uh, drafting committee of the constituent, uh, uh, Constitution, he said the, that was set up for reporting on the structure and functioning of the future legislation of our country, has feared in 1936 that a second chamber, Council of States, will check any forward tendencies of the lower house and will be a reactionary. Are we making Nehruji's worst fears come true? I hope we are not. We should not for the sake of our parliamentary democracy and the people. The Rajya Sabha chairman also pointed out that the upper house has a special status in legislation and appointment of members and the house should carry forward the tradition of dignified debates and discussions on important issues of public concern. He said that due to disruptions, the house could not discuss important issues like the SCST Act, banking fraud and even budget. Adjourning the house signed a the chairman expressed hope of a productive upcoming monsoon session. The house stands adjourned, signed a Panchana and Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha Television. Well, the chairman also thanked Deputy Chairman P.J. Kurian, who is retiring in July. First, I, on my behalf, on, the, on behalf of the House, would like to convey our appreciation and greetings to the Deputy Chairman of the Rajya Sabha, who is completing his tenure by July. Whether it's in the responsibility of Deputy Chairman, as well as the other responsibilities held at various times during the last uh, 30 years of his uh, parliamentary career and public life, he has done extremely well and then tried to maintain parliamentary standards and practices and contributed to the welfare of the country and the development of the nation. So we appreciate him because July, what time the session starts, we are not sure. So I thought I must take this as occasion for a senior parliamentarian who is the deputy chairman also to convey our greetings. On, uh, on member. Well, soon after parliament was adjourned, Sainadai senior leaders of several political parties met with Rajya Sabha chairman M. Venkaya Naidu. Sources reveal that senior leaders from the BJP, Congress, TMC, CPU, TDP, and others proposed a two-week extension to take up the important bills and public issues. They also acknowledged that the budget session washout was a collective responsibility of which uh, they were not happy about. The leaders made several suggestions to prevent repetition in the future. In the meeting that went on for half an hour, the leaders suggested a ban on placards and banners in the House, a clear definition of protest and action to be taken against those violating the rules. The leaders also suggested to Chairman Naidu to convene a meeting of the General Purposes Committee of the House to deliberate on action to be taken against persistent disruptors. Those present in the meeting with Sri Naidu included Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad, Leader of the Opposition Gulam Nabi Azad, Anand Sharma, Derek O'Brien, D. Raja and CM Ramesh. Congress is not responsible for the disruption. We wanted debate. We wanted accountability. And we shall continue to demand that. We have today told the chairman of the Rajya Sabha 
to inform the government that we are willing to not prorogue the houses. They have been adjourned only sine die. Reconvene the parliament for two weeks or ten days to debate these five issues and to legislate, bring the important laws. We have told the ball is in their court. Well, several ministers also made statements on the floor of the house. Let's listen. A statement by Minister Sri Hari Bhai, Pardi Bhai Chaudhary. Sir, on behalf of my senior minister, CP Yush Goyal, I rise to lay a statement regarding status of implementation of the recommendation contained in 27th report of the Department related Parliamentary Standing Committee on Coal and Steel on Demands for Grants 2017-18 pertaining to the Minister of Coal. Sri, Sri Pad Yeshwar Nayak. Sir, in presence of the provision of Rule 266 of Procedure and Conduct of the Business, I wish to inform the House the status of implementation indicated in the statement being laid on the table of the House of various recommendations contained in, uh, in the 101st and 105th reports of the Department related Parliamentary Standing Committee on the Health and Family Welfare in respect of Ministry of Ayush, Yoga and Naturopathy, Yunani Siddha and Homeopathy. Sri Manoshana. So, in pursuance of the Direction 35 of the Honorable Chairman Rajya Sabha, I would like to make a statement regarding the status of implementation of the recommendations contained in the 19th report of the Standing Committee on Labour and Deployment of Contract Casual Sanitation Workers for Perennial Nature of Jobs in MTNL, pertaining to the Department of Telecommunications, Ministry of Communications on the table of the House. Thank you. Well, that's it on this newscast tonight.